Hi everyone, my name is Jeannie and welcome to my channel. Nowadays we know what's happening in this world. You and me have been dealing courageously with the wrath of the second wave of COVID-19. Our financial, emotional and health impact of this virus has left many people in serious distress. While many are coming out of these hardships, a new serious and deadly problem of fungal infections has arisen in COVID-19 patients, further burdening the healthcare system. Factors that are involved are first, low immunity level, second, unsanitary conditions, and third, overuse of steroids while treating COVID-19 saw black fungus infection cases develop across the country. Subsequently, white fungus and yellow fungus cases also started to be reported even before the healthcare experts could chalk out plan of action for managing black fungus cases. So now let's understand what this fungus is all about. Fungi are a group of living organisms which are classified in their own kingdom. This means they are not animals, plants or bacteria. Unlike bacteria which are simple prokary prokaryotic cells, fungi have complex eukaryotic cells like animals and plants. The word fungus is a Latin word meaning mushrooms. Fungi are found throughout the earth including land, in water, in the air, even in plants and animals. For instance, if wet clothes have been dumped for quite a long time or food which has been left for some days, then fungus starts growing in it. Have you guys heard about hospital acquired fungal infections? If some equipment has fungal infection and when that equipment is used to operate the patient, then the opportunistic fungi gets inside the patient and leads to hospital acquired fungal infections. Now let's talk about black fungus. This infection is caused by a type of mold called mucormycetes present in our surroundings. It can be mostly seen in moist and humid area. For example, let's take for instance COVID patients when they wear a mask, if the mask is infected or if they use the humidifier and if that is infected or the oxygen cylinders which they are, they are using, if that is infected with any kind of fungal infection, then the person gets infected with that kind of fungal infection. So it spreads like that actually. This disease affects those who have low immunity level such as HIV. Second, uncontrolled diabetes. Third, overuse of steroids, leukemia, cancer, impaired kidney function. It's a very rare disease and it happens due to environmental contamination. Now let's get into the symptoms. The fungus will infect different parts of your body. If the fungus enters through the nose and infects, the symptoms may be toothache, headache, nasal or sinus congestion, black lesions or nasal bridge, fever. If the fungus infects your lungs, the symptoms might be fever, cough, chest pain, shortness of breath. If the fungus infects the wound present in your skin, the area around the wound might turn black. If the fungus infects your stomach, they'll have abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, gastrointestinal bleeding. But most cases it may enter the body through the nose and you'll get infected. To diagnose it, we have to do a few tests such as biopsy, CT scan and a few x-rays might be required. Though it's a rare disease, it's a very deadly disease which has 50% of mortality rates. To treat these fungal infections, first antifungal medications will be given. Injection amphotericin B have been mostly used. Second, surgery. Sometimes surgery might be required where the affected tissue will be removed. For instance, if the eye gets infected, then the eye will be removed. Second, diabetes must be in control. Only if necessary, steroids must be taken in moderation. Otherwise, it should be omitted. Overuse of antibiotics also risks this infection. Zinc supplements. Fungi thrive in zinc-rich environment. Now, let's understand about white fungus and yellow fungus. All the three fungus are quite similar and attack people with weak immune system. These fungus are given the name not because of its colors, it's given the name because of the symptoms it's causing. For example, people who have white fungus, the jaw area becomes white or their oral cavity or the foot pipe will have white patches. People who have black fungus, there will be black lesions around the nasal bridge. White fungus is also called as aspergillus and you can find it in the bread mold. 
all these infections are not contagious does not spread from one person to one person there is a famous saying and everyone of us know it prevention is better than cure so keep your environment clean and hygienic mostly the fungus spreads when the humidity is high in case of hospitalized patients please take necessary sanitary measures never used the used items in the hospital always use the unused items and always wear fresh mask so take all the necessary sanitary measures to prevent the fungal infection thanks for watching and hope every one of us will stay safe and healthy stay tuned for the next video